Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to check out an all-new keto breakfast option. We're going to try scramblers right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload new video you'll be alerted to it so we got these in the mail and this is really intriguing uh, did you know these were coming i didn't know they were coming i had no idea they even existed so these are called scramblers and on the side of the box it says the original omelet bar it says no fridge no preservatives for real okay that's what intrigues me the most about it like no fridge and no preservatives like yeah. how is that possible and an omelet bar is insinuating eggs does say over here keto friendly gluten free grain free no added preservatives no artificial colors and it's a good source of protein now i know that you don't have to refrigerate fresh eggs just like coming out of the hen immediately right. but um this is too thin to have an egg in it i like this better breakfasting is here <laughs> Well, let's see if it's here. You ready? Okay. So there's a little note in here from Matt, the founder and CEO. Hi, Matt. It says, we've worked three long years to bring scramblers to the market. Thank you so much for any interest and your support that you can lend. Um, you're one of the very first people to try scramblers. I really hope you enjoy these. He said, P.S. Try them hot. Thank you for letting us know that, Matt, well, because thanks, I Matt. tend to eat things cold. We feel very honored to try these. So there's a little card that says, Better Breakfasting Omelet Bar. There's three flavors. Okay. Ham and cheddar, spinach and fe uh, feta, and then chicken chorizo. It looks so, like there's two in the box. So here's the ham and cheddar. And this one is the spinach and feta. And it actually says that it's made with Pete and Jerry's I was just going to say eggs. that right here on this card. Let's put this out of here. It says the ham and cheddar is made with Pete and Jerry's eggs, black forest ham and cheddar cheese. The spinach and cheddar is made with the Pete and Jerry's eggs, fresh spinach and feta cheese. And then there's also a chicken chorizo that has chicken chorizo and chili peppers. That sounds really good. It does sound good, but I know some people don't like spices, so I can totally understand why they kind of make this like the sampler pack. Okay, so it says ready to eat at room temperature or microwave your tray for 16 to 22 seconds. Venting is suggested. It does say wow. it is fully cooked. That's so amazing. Are we going to, do we want to do the same thing we did with the Pop-Tarts and try one cold and one hot? Yeah. Which one are we going to eat hot? I feel like... I feel like ham and cheddar. Or should we just heat up, like keep a piece of them cold to see what it would be like cold? Yeah, let's And then we'll heat, up, we'll heat up half of each one. Okay. Okay, I will be right back with heated up versions. Okay. Now, again, I know that his note said to eat it hot, but it does say on the box you can eat it ready to eat cold or hot, so we have to test it both ways. I have a feeling it's going to be better warm, like he said. So I just cut off a small piece of each one for the cold. Speaking of the box, I have to read you this. It okay. says, store in your pantry, desk, or fanny pack. How well does this man know me? Bring him back fanny packs. I okay, love you my ready? Fanny pack. So this is, it, it's, it looks like a little mini egg, egg loaf. loaf. I'm gonna, let me show you this. This is the spinach one, I think. Like it's, looks it like looks like loaf. a dense egg loaf. So, it smells like, like an egg omelet. Yeah. You ready? Wow. Wow. Hmm. It's, I don't know. It tastes kind of canned. It tastes like canned meat. Like a canned meat, but it's a canned meat. So. Well. Let's or preserved meat. Let's taste this. So this, this one is, is the, the ham and cheddar. Ham and cheddar. Mm. Okay, so these are again. This is the cold version. It would be a good like camping food. Like, Better good than like for emergency fun. 
Okay, let's go wow. with the warm version. Warmed up version. It smells really good and warm. Yes, that smells way better warm. In fact, I want to end on that one. You want to end on I want to the end spinach on that and feta. Yeah. Okay, now I see a little bit more ham and There's stuff. There's like melty cheese in there. It is. Okay. Warm is way better. Warm is way better. You know what it reminds me of? One of those stuffed Oscar Mayer wieners that would have like the cheese on the inside of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's warm as much. I, I would definitely say eat it warm. Like cold is, I have nothing to eat. I'm running out the door. I'm, I don't have a way to heat something up. I'm trapped in the house and the power's out. Yeah. For a couple days. Heat it up warm. 20, 30 seconds. So now this one is the... Spinach and cheddar. Oh, look at all of that. Oh, feta. It's got feta. Look at all that cheese feta. coming out of that. It almost has a consistency of a hot dog. It does. Like, that's what I'm saying. It reminds me of an Oscar Wire, Meyer wiener that's been stuffed with something. But there's also kind of a canned soup flavor going on. You're right. It does taste a little bit like a canned soup. Like a cold canned soup when it's cold. Like... Campbell's broccoli and cheese soup, but cold. Okay. Let me have a sip of your drink, and we'll do five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? But I have to take a drink first. So number one is... The ingredients. The ingredients. And I can start with this one. So this is the ham and cheese one. And the ingredients are organic free-range eggs, uncured ham with no nitrates and no nitrites, except those naturally occurring in celery powder and cheese salt. Um, there's pork, water, vinegar, and less than 2% of sea salt, sugar, natural flavors, and molasses. That's what's on the inside of That's the ham. That's the ham. Okay. So then it's uh, back to the ingredients. It's grass-fed butter, egg whites, feta cheese, which are comprised of pasteurized milk, salt, and cheese culture enzymes. Cheddar cheese, which is comprised of pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Skim milk, encapsulated baking soda, which is so sodium bicarbonate, palm oil, and hydrogenated soybean oil. Then there's spices, citric acid, and xanthan gum. So the ingredients in this one are very similar. It's eggs, feta cheese, uh, grass-fed butter, spinach, eggs white, egg whites, Parmesan cheese, skim milk, encapsulated baking soda, which I don't know what encapsulated baking soda is. It's I guess it's like little capsules. I don't know. Because that's what the soybean oil is part of the baking soda. Then you have garlic and spices, citric acid, and xanthan gum. So the ingredients are actually like super clean. Yeah. Like really, really clean ingredients. I, you've got to take out the soybean oil because it's part of the baking soda. Well, they're very much breaking it down. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the ingredients. Number two... Does it keto based on the nutrition label? So a serving size is one bar. Yeah. So this whole entire this yeah. tray. 130 calories, 9 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 2 total carbs. That's in the spinach and feta one. Uh, 1 gram of sugar, no added sugar. So 2 total carbs per one. What do you got there? This one is 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, a little bit more fat. I mean, not surprising in the ham and cheddar one. Right. Nine grams of protein, two total carbs, and yeah, two total, total carbs. So I'm first of all, I'm going to say a lot of people are going to be like, wait a second, two, two carbs, it's eggs. There's a carb in an egg. Yeah. Just remember that. A lot of us don't think about it, but there is a carb in an egg. Also, you're adding in ham, cheese. you're adding in cheese, you're adding in spinach. So this really is... Going right along with what the ingredient label is, if you made that omelet at home... Probably about the same. So number three, how does it taste? I think it is on par with a lot of pantry items, right? Okay. It's probably better than Spam, taste-wise. <laughs> Certainly better than sardines. Um, it's, it's up there with like tuna fish, canned chicken, that sort of thing. You're trying to keep potted meats in your pantry it tastes like that it tastes like stock up food for an electrical outlet outage yeah i'm gonna say it's not like the greatest tasting omelet that you've ever had that you made at home but it is a nice grab and go option um put it on par of like if you were eating vienna sausages something like that yeah 
if you want to compare the taste to some other things that you would use this in place of, like stopping at a gas station and getting one of those like little egg muffin things that are sitting on the shelf in 7-Eleven, I think this tastes better. I think it has better nutrition. I think it has better ingredients, but the taste is like average at best. Yeah, it, it tastes like something that you would keep in a pantry in For a an month. emergency. Yeah, I mean, it's probably better than a lot of the meat stick slash cheese combos that you could get. And it's probably on par taste-wise yeah. with that. So number four, how much do they cost? So okay. I did message him. So he said they are gonna be about $3 a bar depending on how many you order in your order. Okay. Uh, plus a small shipping cost, which he did not tell me how much it is. They are exclusively going to be available at www.eatscramblers.com. And I will leave a link for their website down below. So they're not even available at the time that we're filming this to order. We are getting them early. We feel very honored. We do feel honored. So yeah, so $3 a piece. Which I is, don't think it's super bad. I mean, you pay $3 no. for a breakfast sandwich when you go to Wawa. And for me, I've got to throw out half of that breakfast sandwich. I can't even eat the cheese that's on the breakfast sandwich. No, and you do not have to feel bad about this. And honestly, it's very filling. I mean, we each had didn't even eat an entire one between us. Right. And It's satisfying. It was very satisfying. It's very thick. And I, now I do recommend heating them. I, yeah. I do think that makes a big Definitely difference. Definitely want to heat it. But, Yeah. So number five, would we recommend these? I think this is like a good stock up protein option. Mm -hmm. If you're in a bind or you're going camping, I think the kids would love this type of thing if they could cook it, you know, on the grill camping for breakfast or right. something like that. Um, it's not something that you're going to be like, I am craving this, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking like coming into down here in South Florida, hurricane season, I can see having a few of these on the shelf, just as, hey, there's no electricity, I want to stay keto, I want to make sure I'm getting my eggs. Is there like an expiration date? So for example, these are enjoyed by January 6th of 2021. It is marked sample on the bottom too. So with roughly a year shelf life, I'd feel comfortable having a few of these for that. Am I going to eat this every day for breakfast? Probably not. Probably not. You're going to make a regular I'm going to enjoy egg. my eggs, you know. I think it's better than I said, like I said, better than stuff you're gonna get at a gas station or even a lot of the frozen breakfast sandwiches that you're gonna buy. I think it does taste better than that. Well, here's the thing too. As someone who'd be stocking up pantry for, you know, hurricane season or whatever, you know, a snow season or something, I need more and more degrees of separation between me and spam. Okay. <laughs> I need more options between It's better me than spam. And sardines and yeah. anchovies and all of the other like canned meat that in a pinch you might like have to turn to. I would much rather eat this. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Uh, let us know down in the comment sections what you guys think of this. Is this something that you would be interested in having, especially as like a stock up kind of thing? Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.